Shajar steps up, Boudicca strong to claim, but F2P still cries out in vain. No matter the buffs, no matter the tweak, still can't compete with the whales on the peak. She swings her sword, her stats on display, but for free to play, it's a meh kind of day. Max her talents! They all scream, yeah, you are better off asking your barber for a trim. Should you invest in Shajar al -Dur? First of all, what is up guys, this is Daddy Furious, welcome back to a new video, and in short, I would say she is a better, a stronger and faster version of Boudicca Prime. Obviously for open field, she must be used as primary just because of that high 2800 direct damage factor from her active skill. We don't know how credible and strong the true damage is, yet, though I wouldn't have high hopes for it. However, that 50% march speed reduction is pretty solid, especially in Ark of Osiris and slowing down the carrier. Second skill is definitely one of her best kits, giving you 35% health and 20% march speed, so already much faster and better than Boudicca Prime. Third skill is only useful for field, and it doesn't work if she's in a rally or a garrison. Plus, it gives you some tankiness along with the second skill. Force skill, you receive 20% less damage, which is all damage, so it also includes normal damage and skill damage, and only once per hour, once your march's health bar drops to 60%, which is shown as yellow color, you automatically receive 5k healing factor, and in the next 8 seconds from the moment your health bar drops to 60%, you take 40% less damage, but you lose 40% attack. And what that means is, for 8 seconds you deal less damage and skill damage because attack is a huge contributing factor towards how big your skill damage is. But hey, at least you are tanky for 8 seconds. Imagine telling that to a free to play. That's a bit comedic, right? So you can see where I'm going with this. I don't like this force skill, I don't like it at all. For open field, your main focus must be inflicting damage, causing damage as high as possible because it is damage that gets you the good reports, the kill points and wins you a ball fight. If we were talking about a rally however, then yes, tankiness and endurance is the key to success. But we are talking about open field, so yeah. Moving to the final and expertise skill, it's somewhat of a support skill. We know Shajar heals herself and up to 3 nearby alloy troops. So those troops that she has healed, including herself, receive 10% defense and 20% more normal damage boost for 3 seconds. Now, back to the first question. Should you invest in Shajar? For F2P, that's a NO! For low spenders, that's a NO! For high spenders, that's a yes, yes, yes. As we have discussed, majority of her kit is related to tankiness and endurance. Have you ever seen a free to play or low spender tanking without going down in seconds, that is? No. Have you ever seen a high spender tanking and doing a damn great job with it? Yes. Why? Well, because they have the proper gear and armaments for it. And you don't. And that's as simple as. <sighs> okay. I wanted to sneeze but it didn't come out. And that's as simple as I could explain it. So now the free to plays and low spenders are like, bruh, who should we invest in then? Well, there are plenty of options, great options that are currently in the meta. And for damn sure, they won't go out of the meta or anywhere close to it with Shaja being released. Matter of fact, they ain't going anywhere anytime soon, so the investments are 100% safe. And those options are number one, Jugal Yang with Heaven Prime, that is the best Archer March right now in the game, and number two, it is Ashubanipal with YSG. If you want to run only one Archer March, then go with Jugal Yang and Herman, and if you want to run two Archer March, then go with the both options. And if you want to run three Archer Marches, then your lineup is going to look like this. Number one, Jugal Yang with Herman, number two, Ashubanipal with Nebuchadnezzar, and number three, Shajar with YSG. As you can see, every march in that lineup has at least one AoE, and the reason why she is best paired with Shajar is because of the high skill damage boost that he offers from his skill kit and from his museum buff. So Shajar's active skill will be boosted by 62% in total by pairing him with YSG. I'm sorry, I meant by pairing her with YSG. I didn't mean to misgender Shajar, please don't cancel me. So yeah, 62%, that is a huge ass boost. I don't think I need to state the obvious, running 3 Archer March as F2P or low spender is a bad idea. 2 is the maximum I would recommend. So that puts 3 automatically for high spenders because they can afford to run 6 or 7 marches in KVK because of the crystal tree, whereas for free to plays they can only afford to run 5. They cannot even unlock the 6 march, right? Speaking from experience. Anyway, with that being said, please be responsible with your gold heads because they aren't just any heads that you can go uh, on the red light district and get heads for 50 euros. So be responsible, be 
a grown adult with your gold heads and invest in the right commanders. For open field, the metal lineup right now is 1 infantry, 2 archers and 2 cavalry. That is for 5 march. For 6 march, it is 3 cavalry, 2 archers and 1 infantry and for 7 march, well, then you can do whatever the hell you want but I would recommend 2 infantry, 2 archers and 3 cavalry. Or 3 archers, 3 cavalry and 1 infantry if you really don't want to use Guan. Because if you use Guan, then you have to use 2 infantry march and Guan is really, really out of the meta and he sucks, so yeah. Anyways, I hope you enjoyed and you picked up something new. The next video is going to be most likely about open field meta commanders, so stay tuned and I'll see you very, very soon. Till next time, take care and peace out! What is up guys, Daddy Fury is here. As you can see, I'm trying to leave the Matrix. So I was offered a blue pill and a red pill and you all know Daddy Furious, I just did have to take the red pill. So as you can see, my glasses are slowly coming off, but I prefer them to stay on because I have morning sleeping bags. Anyway, a new video coming very soon, so stay tuned. Mm, we might also sign up for KVK this Monday. So two days from now, that's going to be exciting. I'm wondering who you're going to be matched with. Most likely 2377. I hope it's a hard match. It's a hard opponent, so we're going to have a good time. Okay? Until next time, take care. Bye-bye.